All right, before we get started, it's really cold here, so I bought my microphone a little hat. Anyway, welcome to another q and I think this is eight. If not, something will correct it on screen. We've got some really awesome questions and let's just dive into them. First question, and I, I'll be reading them off to kind of the side here. Which country do you live in and is there a lockdown there? I live in the United States and yes, there is uh, a lockdown or everyone is supposed to be staying inside. It's quite bad here. So I've just been sort of chilling, probably left my house once. Are you doing any jobs currently? Currently, I'm still a student, but when I graduate, I'll be a software developer. So yay. Other than that, not really right now, still a student. Oh, from the username cubed.rice, which is quite interesting. Do you like rice? Yes, I'm Asian. I eat rice pretty much every day, at least two times a day. I pretty much eat a lot of rice. Do you prefer a million, I think that's a euro symbol, apologies if I'm wrong, with a 50% chance or a hundred thousand euros with an a hundred percent chance? So purely based on probabilities, I would take the 1 million for 50% because the expected value is 500,000, which is greater than the expected value of 100,000. But because I'm human, to guarantee that I get anything, I would go with the second option. That's a really good question. Why is the font so tiny? What are your favorite pieces of classical music seeing as you seem to play violin? Which, yes, I do. I don't know about favorite pieces, some that I really enjoy. Uh, I really like playing Winter, and also that's just, that's a fun one to listen to. And ones I like to listen to, I like Paganini's Caprice, Caprices, Caprices? 24 mostly is the most famous one that's notoriously difficult, but sounds really nice. Chili, ketchup, or mustard on hot dogs. So I actually could not tell you the last time I ate a hot dog. I actually do like hot dogs. I haven't been eating much non-rice lately. Um, I guess ketchup, I don't really like mustard and I don't, I've never tried chili on hot dogs. That actually sounds really good though. How are you so cool asking for a friend? Well, it's cause I hang out with cool people. No, but thanks for the compliment. How long have you been cubing and how has it changed your life? It's 2021. So I've been cubing for more than 10 years and it's definitely changed my life for the better. I know how to solve Rubik's cubes and I think it's made me become more of a social person. So I am better at talking to people and making new friends. How much do you cube and how much longer do you plan on actively cubing if you still do? And yes, I still actively cube. I have not been to a competition in almost a year though because of uh, world events, but I probably cube around an hour a day. So I'm currently on winter break. So I have more time to practice. And then during school, maybe like half an hour or just more time on the weekends. And I plan to actively cube for pretty much as long as I can. Hopefully work doesn't get in the way and just like getting older and having to do life things hopefully doesn't get in the way. How tiring is it to be a delegate? Well, right now it's about zero tiring if you can measure them because I haven't delegated any competitions in pretty much a year. Um, but in general, I think it's stressful and tiring, but it's extremely, extremely rewarding. How fast is your internet? Actually really, really slow sometimes. It's, I don't know, our, mo our, our router is like in the farthest corner of our house. So not really fast, which I've thought about streaming before, but one of my limitations honestly would be my internet speed. I tried streaming once and it completely went terribly. Why do you think female cubers haven't preformed to the same level males have? I think it's just because there are few of us. So statistically speaking, we will be a little bit slower. Although inherently, I don't think there is any barrier for female cubers to become faster. Like for example, I forget how to say her name, the Mega, former Megaminx former Megaminx world record holder. Um, she was really fast, she was really good. And secondly, can you get more girls to cube so us nerds can have someone to date without looking crazy? Uh, I guess firstly, girls don't have to like guys, but I don't know what to say to this. I think this is kind of funny and um, cubers don't have to date cubers, you can find other people. Um, so yeah. Did you hear my shoulder crack? Ouch. Are you planning on ever getting FWR again? I don't think it's something you really plan for. I'm going to continue to practice and uh, solve to the best of my ability and hopefully be able to do it in a competition, I don't know, within a few months or within this year at least. Um, I would like to, but it's not like, oh, this solve is gonna be great. I'm gonna make it the FWR. Uh, it doesn't really happen like that. What are your plans for 2021? Also any cool guitar covers coming cause you rock. I haven't really set any plans for 2021. My major plans are A, to graduate, which hopefully should be pretty easy. And then B, to start working, which should be pretty easy since I have a job lined up. But um, in terms of guitar covers, I don't know if I should make them. I might, we will see. If you guys would like to see some guitar covers, let me know. Have you read Percy Jackson slash Heroes of Olympus? Yes, I have. I have all the Percy Jackson books. I'm pointing off to that side because they're over there. Q&A, say this long word. So I've actually seen this word before. I don't remember what it means. Numano? Numano ultra microscopic silico volcano co... 
volcanokinosis. Kinosis? Pneumona ultramicroscopic silica volcanokinosis. I tried. Do you speak more languages than English? By the way, I love, I don't know what that says. I'm just gonna assume it says my channel, so thank you. In terms of other languages, yes, I speak Mandarin and I'm semi-fluent in French. I used to be more fluent, but I don't really speak French as much as I used to. Most underrated piece of high school advice. That is a really good question. Explore your, not explore yourself. Ooh. Explore and try and find things that you like to do. If you were an onion, what type of onion would you be? I don't know what the different types of onions are. So if I were an onion, I would like to be an onion that doesn't make you cry when you cut it. <laughs> I don't know. Very unrelated comment, but I was wondering if you have a type racer account since I've seen someone on the website with your name and generally around your speed. Yeah, that is me. I do like to practice typing from time to time. I feel like I get this question quite a bit and they'll appear on the screen somewhere, but do you, this specific version says, do you have a boyfriend spelled with an I? Um, no, I do not. So guys, if you want, no, I'm just kidding, but I don't. How much money are comps? This is actually an interesting question. So it depends on mostly how far they are is the biggest component of cost. For example, if you're going to a competition in your backyard, cost is zero. But if I'm in the United States and I went to Worlds, which I did, plane tickets, Airbnb or hotels, and all the like transportation costs. So it really depends. What's the weirdest sound you can make? Um, bleh. Interesting question. Editing Dana here. Another weird sound that I can make is where I go. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. If you weren't doing computer engineering or computer science, what would you have majored in in college? I have thought about this before. Um, if I didn't do something engineering related, I think for a while I was contemplating doing pre-med or like pre-law. That would actually be really interesting if I went back four years. I wonder what I was thinking. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't thinking. <laughs> question, what moment kind of set you apart from everyone else? Cause you are very popular now. Well, firstly, thank you. I don't think I'm super popular. I'm still working on growing my YouTube channel with as much high quality content as I can make. In terms of set me apart, one thing I think that did help is that I am a female and there are relatively fewer in the community and that I'm relatively fast. So that's good to make like solve videos and like people will notice you at competitions and stuff. And in terms of YouTube, I'm just working on consistent high quality uploads. Uh... What name would you think about naming your channel other than your actual name? Dana Yi, which is my name, that's not fake. So before I actually changed my name to Dana Yi, I made my channel when I was 10 or 11 years old. So I was very young. And two of the things that I enjoyed doing at the time were solving Rubik's cubes and playing Guitar Hero on the Wii, which had just, not just come out, but it had come out recently. So this was a while ago. And naturally be, being the creative and forward thinking child that I was, my channel name was Rubik's GH3. Um, I don't think I would go with that again, but that's just an interesting fact. Why is Chris Evans so hot? Well, I do have a Funko Pop, but I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Last question of the Q&A. Who inspired you to cube and start making videos? In terms of who inspired me to cube, I don't think any particular person inspired me to cube. I don't even know why I started making videos because if you go back, a few of the old ones, they're filmed on a 2004 Motorola Razr, which if you don't know, is a very old phone. I guess that phone would be 17 years old today. And a lot of my older videos are really bad quality and I don't even know why I made them. Honestly, it was just cause it was fun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope the audio sounded a little clearer cause, uh, cause of my little hat. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to bop like and subscribe and I'll see you in future videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and subscribe for the latest content.